Jeff, uh, another busy week, how are things? Yeah, very good. Um, lads are looking sharp, uh, put some good work into them. We'll continue that today and tomorrow. Uh, There's a bit of a buzz around the camp, which is always nice. So, yeah, been a good week. Two wins, two draws and a defeat is a really, really strong start, isn't it, to, to life in League One. You must be thrilled with the way the team's adapted to the higher level. Yeah, certainly, listen, Dan, we, we always know we're going to have some ups and downs, especially the, <laughs> the style I play and, you know, we're... You know, times we're, we're we're in possession, out of possession, we're we're out of shape, in shape, and you know, that's just the way we play. Uh, we have been a little bit more solid of late, which we've not needed to drum into the boys and put more shape practice into them. But when when you when you continue with eight points, and you know, as you said, two win, two draws, and one loss, where we could have been, we've been in all the games, we could have won majority of the games we played, uh, and it's always pleasing. Yeah, it is a solid start. It's a start, but we need to build on it. We need to make sure we keep climbing. And, and in terms of the, the players and the mood in the camp, they they must all be really pleased and excited with, with, with how the season started too. Yeah, there's a buzz around the place, Dan. I think it's because, you know, obviously uh, the lads missed a lot of football, let's have it right, and, and the buzz to get back playing and competitive football, yeah, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday along the way and, you know, the, the squad's being rotated a little bit so far and long may that continue and it'll have to. Uh, but the buzz around the lads, you know, they're in the league, they deserve to be in this league. And we want to keep pushing on. We want to, you know, play the good teams and, and in different teams, and we want to start climbing the league because I think we've got a squad that's capable of doing that. Big, big game against Southampton on Saturday. What are you, what are you expecting from them? Obviously, a team that promoted with you last season. Yeah, fair play. Listen, they've done well. They were outstanding, weren't they? You know, to be two 0 down or three 0 down was in the first leg, and then to come back and and to reach the final. I think once they got the final, <laughs> there was only one winner for me. I thought they would do what they done. Uh, they certainly did that, and he would deserve winners to go, to get promoted along with ourselves. Uh, you know, he he was hunting the pack, he was climbing the tail before it got finished. So fair play, you know, Kikil's done a fantastic job there. He's had some good additions. Uh, we're expecting a different type of game of what we've been used to lately. But look, it's one we're thriving, one we're relishing. Uh, and as you always say, we respect Northampton for what they are and how they go about the business. But ultimately, it'll be about what we do on the day, Dan. It's a, a good opportunity for your team to kind of show a different. They've shown different sides of themselves already this season, haven't they? They've had to go up against physical teams, against yeah. ball-playing teams, and, and like you say, Northampton would be very difficult, different to Burton in that respect. Yeah, certainly. Well, listen, Burton went you know back to front of time as well, and a lot of teams do really. You know, we we, we spoke about. No teams in League One play a little bit more football. There's there's a little bit of back to front early, whether that's because there's no fancy and there's no pressure to play or whatever it may be. But we've noticed in, in games there's a lot of teams that have done it. Uh, you know, including ourselves, we've gone back to front a little bit early at times as well. So we are mixing it up, yeah. Uh, but look, we, we need to focus on us. We're, we're a football team. We'll, we'll continue to do that. Yeah, it's been nice to see a different side of us and being solid and resolute and putting your foot in when you need to and putting your head in when you need to and. You know, so that'll continue, and, and that's some improvement we've we've done on the training pitch with the lads. And as I say, all games in League One are going to be different. Saturday kicks off a, a pretty insane run of fixtures, doesn't it? How how are the squad looking forward to that, and how are they all faring up? You got injury concerns? Yeah, no, obviously just um, just Lewis McLeod will be will be missing. He's he's gone to see a specialist over his knee. He's been back training, but we just feel he needs to, to get another opinion on it. Yeah, we got one and it was fine, but it's still still niggling away. So we need to make sure that that's right with Lewis. As I say, he's trained, but he's just got an uncomfortable bit in his knee. Uh, and then Ryan, obviously, you know, he he, um, he was positive in a, in a COVID test, but his, his isolation's actually up. He's fit and well. He's healthy. His isolation's up Saturday, so potentially could be available for Saturday. We'll see how he is. Although he hasn't done nothing for ten days, but other than that, we're, we're all good. It must be a weird experience. Um, the the players being ruled out for, for for COVID and so on, but you've, I understand you've got a pretty solid yeah. uh, structure in place for that. Yeah, we have solid protocols in terms of the lads. Every morning when they wake up, they need to they need to um, text the group and make sure they're right, a thumbs up or thumbs down. And along with the staff, the same again. And just me head and sometimes because some lads are putting the thumbs up at six in the morning when I'm still sleeping. But in terms of we have to make sure we do it right. It's a solid protocol. It goes straight to Dave. Any issues, Dave rings them. Um, so yeah, listen. No one enters the, the the ground if they're feeling unwell at all. They, they stay at home, and that was the case with Ryan. He went well. Two days later, he was right as rain. But the test results come back to say he had it. So we had to make sure he isolated for ten days and do the right protocols. But as I say, we, we'll make sure that everyone's a, a clean bill of health. Otherwise, they don't come into the ground. Thank you. Wish you well on Saturday. Cheers. Thank you.